We're down in Miami where they have a huge problem with aggressive pythons. Ricky and I had just found one in our client's backyard right where the kids are playing, and man, it looks mean. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you see that? I'm talking about it's that right good. there. You should know Come better than that, man. That thing is huge, man. Look at him. Whoa. He's got some size to him. Calm down, dude. Yeah, he's breaking Whoa. back. He's very aggressive. We need a plan of attack. <laughs> he's got the plan of attack. We need a plan of capture. <laughs> Showtime. Oh, One, two, three. Lee, he's huge. How big you think this guy is? Oh, man, he is freaking monstrous, dude. Five, six feet, maybe? Fat sucker. I got him right here. He's uh, actually trying to climb out some pipes right now, so I'm going to get in there and try to bear hand him. A cornered snake is an angry snake, and this guy meant business. I could hear him hissing, ready to defend himself. Oh, man, he's nasty, too. Boy, don't bite me. Ricky, I got his head into a position where I'm going for it. Three, two, one. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's so strong, though. Oh, my God. And he's starting to wrap me already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's where your wrist bracelet's gonna come in handy. That's yeah, no kidding, man. Again, coming out with him, guys. All right. Yeah, make some room. Whoa, dude. Yeah, he's nice. <sighs> he doesn't care about the spikes, dude. Let me try to get him Look off the that. spike. Yeah, he doesn't man. care about the spikes. He's, oh. Rick, take the bracelet off. It's actually gonna hurt the snake. Gotta get that bracer off, dude, because the snake doesn't care. He's hurting himself on it. Okay, good. Woo! Look at that guy, man. Nice catch. Woo, thanks, man. Man, I like this guy. He's definitely a very, very, very aggressive guy. This snake, I would have to say, is probably, feel that, Rick, like 10 pounds, maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got to be 8 to 12 pounds. Ooh. Woo! Oh, yeah. This guy was mean. Chris went in for a closer look, and this thing almost sprung right from my hands, trying to strike at him. I think now he's spraying everywhere, of course. Yeah. See it all over yeah. like, all over the yeah. He's musking you. Yeah. He's giving you some cologne. Yeah. Well, I guess he's had breakfast. Okay, dude. And he's a male. From, from, from those prongs in the back? base of the tail, yeah. He's got two spurs there. Yeah, those spurs. See, the hemipenes, that's actually his reproductive organs hanging out. He's trying he's to... balled up for us? Oh, man. Yeah. Literally, he balled up for us. Pythons will defecate as a defense and also release a foul, musky odor, and this guy got his musk all over me. He was using every trick he had to try to get rid of me. Musk's on you and hopes you drop him. Yeah, well, I didn't drop you, dude. You can piss all of me all you want, but it ain't gonna work. We got him secure, guys. Y'all can come out. I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to him. So oh, high. my God, I can't oh. believe how big he is. Oh, man, he's huge. Oh, my God, I can't believe the kids were playing in there with that snake. I know, look how big oh he is. Oh, my God. What do you think, little man? Big snake, huh? Yeah. You guys were playing by that area. That might have solved my rat problem. I think he sprayed your rat problem all <laughs> over me, yeah. <laughs> Dang, I think I just uh, wiped salmonella up into my nostril. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we need to go ahead and uh, get the snake out of here. I uh, would shake your hand, but I'd give you salmonella, so. No, oh, we're, we're, good. we're good, we're good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, you so much. Bye. Well, I guess it's time to put him in the bag, huh? Yeah. Get him up. OK, here we go. Three, two, one. Awesome. <laughs> Since pythons are a nuisance to Florida, they are not allowed to be released. Chris is going to keep this guy in his private collection for research, and Shauna and her brother can relax with their family. No grilled snake for them tonight. Here you go, my brother. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm done with that thing. Thanks, Chris, guys. I know you don't care about the salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. To it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one, brother. No problem. We'll see you around, man. <laughs> Ma'am, did you uh, call about a big snake? Yes, sir. Uh, what's going on? It's enormous. It's in my pool. OK, ma'am. Uh, which way? This that way? That way. That this way's way. the okay. closest. Thanks a million. Thanks, ma'am. The client seemed terrified, so I ran straight back to the pool area. 
Dave had managed to contain the snake until I arrived, and when I saw it, I realized why he needed help. This thing was fast and big. What's going on, man? Dude, we got another python, man. I knew if you called, it had to be bad. This yeah. time, it's a reticulated python. Oh. It's a lot meaner than the last one we tackled, a lot faster. It's, it's actually a little scarier, in man. fact. So uh, we got to hurry. We got to get in. We got to get wet. OK. Uh, how about uh, you take that side, I take this side? Let's get in. Cool, man. All right. Let him out. Whoa, watch out, Bill. Watch out. Get him behind the head. He grabbed his. He gets down this floor. There's no telling where he'll go. I got his tail. I got to get his head. Got eyes on the head. He's coming back around to you, Bill. Watch him. Whoa, Whoa lost him. Careful, careful. Watch his head. He's coming back around to you. Grab him, Bill. Grab him. Oh, for the head, man. Get him, get him. Got him. Uh. Uh. right now, you need God. Come on. Uh. This snake was fast and a lot stronger than it looked. As soon as I grabbed its head, it started to wrap me. I needed to get it out of there fast so Dave could help me. Uh. Oh, got him, man. Get him off my neck. He's choking me, all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go. You got him. Once I got the snake out of the pool and had its head secured, I was pumped. It put up a good fight, but at that point, I was running on pure adrenaline, man. No 10-foot snake, reticulated python or not, was getting away from the Vexcon grip, even if I had to take a swim. Good job, man. We went to let the client know we had the snake. I wasn't sure if she was going to come out of the house. Yes, sir. Hello, ma'am. Oh, thank you. I hope you don't mind. I took a little bit of a swim. Oh, God, no. Not at all. Did you see the snake in the pool? I, I saw him in the pool when I... Okay. And it freaked me out. I'd never, you know... I don't know where anything like that would even come from in this area. That's what's freaking me out, if it you want to know the truth. It was a big snake. It was a big snake. Reticulated pythons are not native to Louisiana, but some people keep them illegally as pets and then let them go when they get too big. Whether they let it go or it escaped, they put somebody else in danger, and I'm doing the cleanup. What's going to happen to this snake? Thankfully, uh, David here is a rehabilitator. He's going to have to take uh, charge of this snake. It cannot be released back into the wild. He's going to decide what will happen to it. Thank you, Bailey. Thank, thank you, you ma'am. Thank you. Gates, man shake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank take you. it away. Let's get it out. Take Let's care. Get it. Thank you so much. Oh. OK, and this is the barrier you put down to keep yes. him in? OK, that's good. Stay back in case this guy's venomous. I don't know what I'm dealing with yet. OK, please be careful. Please be careful. I'm going to try. I don't like getting bit any more than anyone else does. I have no idea what I'm looking for. And if it's a rattlesnake or a cottonmouth, one good bite, and Vexcon's looking for a new exterminator. A lot of times, I get behind these appliances, so I'm going to have to move the appliances and take a look. Snakes are cold-blooded animals whose body temperatures go up and down with external conditions. And since appliances have motors in them, they get really hot, and that's a perfect environment for a snake. No, I don't really see nothing don't here. See anything yet? There's this one here. No, not under this one either. That's not good. That means he's somewhere else. I looked under the dishwasher, the refrigerator, washer dryer, everything. I couldn't find nothing. I'm not finding them in here. Even though Patricia saw the snake in the kitchen, by now it can be anywhere in her house, and I need to check the other rooms to make sure they're safe. <laughs> Only in America. Patricia's got a couple of rabbits who aren't caged. They've actually got their own bedroom. They got their own bed, they got their own food and water bowl. I saw piles of seed and rabbit food. Man, what a nightmare. <laughs> Well, ma'am, I can certainly see why you had a snake in here. You got rabbit food out, a rabbit. Uh, with all that wildlife, a snake's going to investigate. That's just the way it is. We've had all the flooding lately. It's going to push the snakes right, up out of the right. low wetlands and up right. into areas that are safer, like people's homes. That's why I stay in business and stuff just like this. The room with the rabbits is clear, but that still leaves the living room to investigate. OK. Now I got to check these sofas. 
Snakes also like to conceal themselves in dark places where they feel the most camouflaged and protected. And a large piece of furniture like a couch is a perfect hiding place. Don't tell me what I'm gonna find. Ah, oh, look at all the droppings and the stuffing back here. Oh! Got him! Oh! <laughs> oh. Dude! Oh, man! Did you pick the wrong place at the wrong time? Oh, look at him. Yeah! Oh, watch it there, tough guy. Can I make a cage up for him? You want to keep him? Yeah. Really? Well, look at him. He's so friendly. All right. You never know what you're going to get on a snake call. I turned over the sofa, and I found a mouse up under there. Patricia stepped in and said, look, I love the little furry creatures. I've got a nice little area set up for them. I got a home for him. Oh, cool. There we go. Oh. Got him in there. Well, it looks like Patricia's got another pet, but I'm still concerned that there may be a venomous snake loose in her house. I decided to make one last ditch effort to look again in the kitchen where Patricia last saw it. I got one more place to check this hot water heater. Okay. Uh, looking good, though. I'd pretty much thrown in the towel, man. I'd given up on it, explained to Patricia, hey, sometimes snakes get away. I thought that's what happened here. That'll be it for today. Okay. As we exited the kitchen, I was wrong. Whoa! What? Oh! You see him there? I see him. Ma'am, step back. The snake was under the dog bed she'd used as a barrier to keep the snake in the kitchen. He well, must have uh, been up under your cushion. He stepped right over the snake when we got in here. This just goes to show you can never be too careful when dealing with snakes. I stepped right over this guy several times and didn't even see him. And if he's poisonous, that would have been an immediate trip straight to the ER. I immediately noticed the colors were kind of funny. And I started to think, could this be a python? It looks like a python. I don't know if that's an escaped pet or if somebody's pet escaped, laid eggs, and this is an offspring. Pythons are not native to America, but people have released these pets for so many years that now we've got about 30,000 wild pythons. He's not gonna bite you, right? I mean, he could bite. They have sharp teeth, rows of sharp teeth. But this one is not poisonous, so don't worry. Don, How I gotta... do you know if they're poisonous? There's a couple of ways to tell, and the first way you can tell is by looking at the eyeball. This guy's got a round pupil. It's not slitted. And then on the end here, on the tail, the scales, if they remain in a cross pattern after the anus, it's non-venomous. Even though this snake isn't venomous, it's still very dangerous. Pythons are constrictors who use their powerful muscles to strangle their prey before devouring it. And even though this guy's still a baby, a python can grow to be 23 feet long, big enough to take down a grown man. If you have mice, it might have been in here tracking the mice. People don't realize they buy these little snakes in the pet stores, and then they grow up to be massive snakes. So they release them into the wild. Well, guess what? In the wild, they have babies. Then you have little boas and pythons growing up to be big boas and pythons in nature. It's not smart. All right, ma'am, I'm gonna go ahead and take him to my truck and then I'll be right back. All right, okay? I appreciate it. All, All right, well, I got him, he's out of here. Patricia was very lucky that Python didn't get any bigger. A couple more years out in the wild and whamma, we got even a more serious problem than we had today. Today, they were just feeding on mice. Tomorrow, it could be your dog. I'm finally able to grab the gator and instantly he starts freaking out. He is not happy about being drugged out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy.